The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation. Attacks launched by high-precision armament of the Russian Aerospace Forces at the provisional bases of the Foreign Legion near Markovo, Kramatorsk of Donetsk People's Republic, as well as near Novoosinovo in Kharkov region, have resulted in the elimination of over 70 foreign mercenaries. More than 100 of mercenaries have been wounded. In the Kupiansk direction, Russian forces have launched artillery strikes at manpower concentration areas from the 103rd and the 105th Territorial Defense Brigades near Berestovo, Kislovka and Senkovka of Kharkov region. Up to 30 Ukrainian personnel, two armored fighting vehicles and three motor vehicles have been eliminated. In the Krasny Liman direction, artillery strikes have resulted in the neutralization of the units from the 13th and the 95th Airborne Assault Brigades near Yampolovka of Donetsk People's Republic, Chervona Edibrova of Lugansk People's Republic and Surebrianka of Donetsk People's Republic. Over 40 Ukrainian personnel, three armored personnel carriers and two pickups have been eliminated. In the Donetsk direction, neutralization of the units from the 60th Mechanized Infantry and the 79th Airborne Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, as well as offensive action of the Russian forces, have resulted in obtaining new advantages frontiers. The enemy has lost up to 70 Ukrainian personnel, four armored fighting vehicles and five motor vehicles. In the South Donetsk direction, Complex Shalin at enemy units near Zolotaya Niva and Prochistovka of Donetsk People's Republic has resulted in the elimination of over 40 Ukrainian personnel, three armored fighting vehicles and two pickups. Missile troops and artillery of the Russian groups of forces have neutralized 67 artillery units at their firing positions, manpower and military equipment at 92 areas. Two Ukrainian Ordnance Depots and a fuel depot of the 102nd Territorial Defense Brigade have been destroyed near Orekhov, Malinovka and Zaleznichnoe in Zaporozhye region. One fuel depot of the Kortica group of forces has been destroyed near Dnepropetrovsk. Within the counter-battery warfare, two U.S. manufactured M777 artillery systems have been destroyed at their firing positions near Chasov Yar and Minkovka of Donetsk People's Republic. One Polish-manufactured Krupp self-propelled howitzer has been destroyed near Antonovka in Kharkov region. Four Ukrainian D-30 howitzers have been destroyed at their firing positions near Serebrianka in Donetsk People's Republic. Air defense facilities have shut down 15 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles near Shepilovka, Liman, Kremennaya, Ploshchanka, Chervona Edibrova in Lugansk People's Republic, Petrovskoye, Novognatovka, Nikolaevka in Donetsk People's Republic, Skelki, Ochere Tavatoe in Zaporozhye region, Rubanovka and Lopatki in Kherson region. Moreover, three rocket-propelled projectiles launched by Olha and Dorogan multiple launch rocket systems have been intercepted near Krasnaya Gora, Podgornoye in Donetsk People's Republic and Rodensk in Kherson region. In total, 355 airplanes and 199 helicopters, 2,794 unmanned aerial vehicles, 399 air defense missile systems, 7,366 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 957 combat vehicles equipped with MRLS, 3,763 field artillery cannons and motors, as well as 7,876 units of special Special military equipment have been destroyed during the special military operation. The Kyiv regime has launched a strike with six rocket-propelled projectiles by U.S.-manufactured HIMARS MLRS at the provisional base of a unit of the Russian Armed Forces near Makeevka in Donetsk People's Republic. The Russian air defense facilities have shut down two HIMARS projectiles. The impact of four rockets with high-explosive warheads has resulted in the death of 63 Russian servicemen. Families and friends of these servicemen will be fully assisted and supported.